Hey everyone, Gorman here. Today I am bringing you guys a Football Manager 21 tactic video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be going over what is, in my opinion, the best 4 2 3 1 in the game. Absolutely love using it. Basically, use it with every team that I use, along with two others, which I will be reviewing in the near future. But in today's video, we are going over the 4 2 3 1 that is absolutely dominant right now in the game. Now, I do use it on my personal save over on my Twitch with Dinamo Moscow, which you guys can check out in the link in the description. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash so if you guys like to check that out, feel free to do so. Like I said, link will be in the description, but we are doing the test with Liverpool, and let me tell you, the results are absolutely phenomenal. It's not what I was expecting whatsoever, because the team that I use in Dinamo Moscow is a they're one of the top teams, top six, I'd say, in Russia. But, I mean, with a team like this in Liverpool, I didn't think that results like this were possible with it. And I was very, very surprised. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, like I said, we're using a 4-2-3-1 with Liverpool in this test. We have got an advanced forward, an inside forward, an attacking mid, an inverted winger, a deep line playmaker, a box to box midfielder, two wing backs, two ball playing defenders, and a sweeper keeper. Now, with the wing backs, they are huge in making plays down the wings. The wing backs and the deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder, and inside forward are all on support. The advanced forward, attacking mid, and inverted winger all on attack and the ball playing defenders and sweeper keeper are on defend. Now, I was not expecting the results that I got with this team. I really wasn't because when I use Dinamo Moscow, my attacking midfielder is integral to the side. Everything basically goes through him. It's almost like he, he's kind of like my Russian team's Messi. Like, he's the heartbeat of the team. We run everything through him. Without him, we don't really succeed. In this case with Liverpool, without Salah or Mane, this team would not have succeeded because Thiago didn't really do what my attacking mid does. But, I mean, the players were kind of all playing in different positions up front. The front four all kind of switched around. Uh, and, I mean, Diago Jota got in there. Divock Orji also got in there. Uh, but, I mean, Mohamed Salah, I did not know he was capable of doing what he did in this test. Now, with the inverted winger, they are basically what I have discovered to be a, a wide striker in some cases. Because they tend to like to get in to this area big time. But sometimes they will stay out wide for a cross. Say if Alexander-Arnold only comes up to about here where Mane is currently, Mane will come in here or go to a crossing type of position. But Thiago, like I said, he, he looked to distribute. He created chances. He had some good key passes. But, I mean, the... Sala and Mane were integral. Now, Roberto Firmino, he did suffer through injury, so he didn't have the impact that I thought he was going to have, uh, but he still was fairly, fairly solid. Now, with the midfielders, with Wijnaldum and Henderson, very, very good. I, I thought that Wijnaldum was going to be producing more than Henderson and it was the other way around I didn't realize how good Henderson is and what he is capable of um, now with Van Dyke and Fabinho I wanted to run Joe Gomez and Van Dyke but I was like you know what let's see what Fabinho can do in this formation with Van Dyke and combined they had 14 goals together it was absolutely phenomenal Robertson and Alex Alexander Arnold like I said big creative players they had a bunch of assists Allison was phenomenal um, I mean, well, the best thing is right here, when we're in possession, we play fairly wide, we pass into space, we overlap on the left and the right, and we play out from our defense. So that really allows the wingbacks to 
use their creative play because I mean we're playing out from our defense so if Van Dyke sees that the play should go to Alexander Arnold Alexander Arnold takes off overlaps same thing over here if Fabinho thinks that Robertson is the play Robertson comes in overlaps we work the ball into the box with some low crosses they were very very good uh, our passing directness is a little bit shorter. Uh, you, you can get away with it being standard or even a little bit more direct, but I, I like it on shorter. Uh, tempo, we have higher, but I mean, if you really want to go full throttle balls to the wall, just do extremely high, but I, I keep it on high. Um, you have it on run at defense instead of dribble S. You definitely want to run at defense with this. Now, in transition... This is where you can kind of do what you want and what you are more comfortable with. I am more comfortable with a counter press and counter with this formation, but I have used it without the counter press and just the counter or without the counter and just counter press still works very, very well. But my suggestion, definitely use these two together because you will just, the, the opponent really can't do anything against you once you do. Now, we have it on distribute the flanks because in this formation, it really, for some reason, especially with my Dinamo Moscow save, my goalkeeper can catch the opponent sleeping and get a long ball to one of the wingers, or even sometimes he'll just kick it long and he can get it to the advanced forward. Now, with distrib distribution type, that's why I don't really have it on anything I mean, obviously we don't do roll it out, but throw it long, take short kicks, take long kicks. Every way of distribution is available with this formation. Um, and then once we are out of possession, we use the offside trap, a higher line of engagement, which you can also use a standard line of engagement. Still works the exact same. It's just sometimes if you're feeling a little bit more confident against certain teams, definitely use that higher line of engagement. Uh, defensively, keep it standard though because you can have a leaky defense at times, uh, but it is very, very solid all the way around. You want to force the opposition outside with your defensive width. You want to use tighter marking, more urgent pressing intensity, prevent short goal kick distribution. And when it comes to tackling, for me, with Liverpool, I have them stay on feet. Worked out great. Now, my team in Russia originally had them on get stuck in, but being with how physical they are, it draws cards. So if, if you're okay with being more physical and taking that chance of drawing a yellow red card, go for get stuck in, but I recommend stay on feet. Uh, and then we use a positive mentality. Now, like I said, this team did some incredible things. We're about to get into it right now now so as you all can see here we finished in first in the premier league 38 games played 78 goal differential finished with 105 points absolutely phenomenal the next closest team was man united with 82 points and their goal differential was 37 the next highest goal differential was man city with 45 so i mean you can score for days with this formation no doubt now, we did get knocked out in the quarterfinal by Manchester City. Uh, we, we had their number all year until we played them in the Champions League. And then they're like, you know what, we're tired of getting beat by Liverpool. And they knocked us out. Now, we did win the FA Cup. Absolutely phenomenal. Carabao Cup also won that. And we won the Community Shield. So we won four of the possible five trophies. But we did manage to win all four in England that are available to us, which is awesome. Now, what was blowing my mind was how Mohamed Salah was playing. If you guys look down here, we have got him scoring 32 goals, having 25 assists, and 49 games. His average eight, his average rating was a 7.72. Uh, he was he was absolutely absurd. He was phenomenal, and he was even out with injury for I think it was two different spells. He was out for at least two weeks, and he still did this. He was absolutely phenomenal in this formation. 
really really liked what he did now when we are talking about creativity trent alexander arnold really shows what you can do creativity wise with the wingbacks as he had 17 total assists but he had 13 in the league i believe he was in third in the league for assists yeah he was in third in the league for assists Mohamed Salah was in second for goals he had the highest average rating which is great he had the most player of the matches Allison with the second most shutouts so I mean we were absolutely lights out here with Liverpool during this test and I mean what the players are able to do is amazing we had 170 goals total 134 assists total and four trophies i don't know what else you could want with a formation because the it just this team was dominating so i mean you can definitely use this with a big dog you can use it with a team like i am using with a team like in russia the czech republic croatia belgium uh you can even use it with amateur sides uh maybe with a Venerama team I, I am sure you can definitely make it work you just need to make sure that you have the players that fit the roles and that they can do their job well in those roles because if so you're going to be a team that dominates for years with this formation now that is it for today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy please let me know what you guys think of the formation down below in the comments let me know how you get on with the formation absolutely love it uh, like I said, you guys can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I use this formation and others live with my Dinamo Moscow team. That is a lot of fun. But until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.